Hello and welcome. Welcome back to the workshop. A couple of weeks ago I put together a, a video about ballasting. A ballasting not a railway track and um, it was it wasn't really about sorry I'm just going to lean over it wasn't really about the act of ballasting It was more about how I felt about ballasting, how I enjoyed it, how I found it a mindful exercise and a way to, to switch off my busy mind after a, a, a day at work. And in recent weeks, I've found my mind racing in the evening. Um, struggling to to focus uh, a million miles an hour, one thing to the next to the next, and you know the result of which, or perhaps the cause of which, uh, becomes you know scrolling through social media or or the forums, and even with attempts to sort of slow that down. Um, take a favourite book to the sofa and read through that. Even seeing, you know, an inspiring photo, I'm sure we've all done it. You know, you see a photo and it gets you thinking and then you're wondering, oh, I wonder if I could get that in double O scale or HO scale or whatever it is you're modelling. Um, so you pick up your, your tablet and you look it up on the internet and away you go again, off down the rabbit hole. And so rather ironically, I'm sat here doing something uh, this evening that's very mindful, I'm lost in just playing with this model railway and <laughs> you're watching it on a device. So the irony isn't lost on me, but the message I think is, is one I wanted to talk about today. Um, and that is, I think, uh, oh, oh. I think the opportunity with the hobby, um, there's mindful opportunity in more ways than just the craft element. It isn't just ballasting or scenic work or painting, making kits, you know, using hand tools and things like that, that can help you distance yourself from your thoughts, uh, calm your mind, stop, in my case, even stop, you know, your, your breathing, racing, heart racing things. I think there's an opportunity to also enjoy the act of playing with your model railway. And so here I am, um, talking about, I suppose, then the why that this layout that I'm showing you today has been built. Uh, it's European in outline, but it could be anything. Uh, it just happened to be that I wanted to have a very distinct and discreet collection of stock for this. So I own four wagons, one locomotive, um, and over time it will, you know, it will become more traditionally finished, you know, weathered, the track will be ballasted, the scenery will all be uh, built up and painted. But even in its current form and its early Paddington style cardboard cutout buildings um, and, a, and a lack of general sort of scenery. Even in this current form, it can provide a great deal of joy. Um, my mind paints in all the scenery. In fact, you know, I can imagine what it's going to look like when it's complete. There's no, there's no complexity in its operation. There's nothing requiring a sort of level of concentration. Um, it's my hands, I'm not this controller, um, you know, pushing and pulling point turnout controls. These KD couplings, wonderful. Generally, <laughs> the odd time they don't don't work quite as intended, but it's hands free. So, you know, the, the scene generally in front of me is self-contained. 
the locomotive is you know, beautifully smooth running, quiet. I can just get lost in watching the rolling stock move around the layout. Fascinated by its motion, actually. It's, it's probably that little boy in me that used to lie inside the circle, the oval of track and watch the Hornby train set run around and around the outside, just lie, get my head right down on the carpet. And now I'm doing the same thing again as a grown up. Nah, not afraid of that, not afraid to admit that. So whether this takes me back to childhood or, I mean, that's what you might cynically argue if you were trying to poke fun perhaps, but I think there's a, there's more to it than that. It isn't just taking me back to childhood, it's calming. And maybe the calming effect is because of a link to childhood, but I'm not sure. I think, uh, yeah, there's a love of trains that, uh, that makes this enjoyable, but um, I find it's, just the right amount of uh, detail and operation. And this layout isn't complicated, as I said before. It's just two turnouts um, representing some unknown factory in some unknown location and there's basically two things I can do. I can switch out the chemical tent wagons at this end so the, the track forms a fork that way or I can switch out the um, covered wagons, the vans that sit in the warehouse you can't quite see here but you'll have seen in some of the video uh, the fork that way. You know this video is me just doing those two tasks Now I'm using Pico Code 75 track. I think these are small radius turnouts. It's just glued down on the shelf. I've got wiring, inverted commas wiring tube, but it's really wiring groove, little rods to change the turnouts. But you could do this with anything, couldn't you? There's nothing stopping this sort of a, a project being built on a shelf with just set track, you know, train set track. It could be with Lego train. It could be with, you know, scale. Um, I think it's the the act of very gentle, deliberate motion. How can you not just get lost in seeing this tiny little red engine move around this scene? I don't know, maybe you you don't see quite the same thing as me. But. And so that busy mind, oh, we're not actually coupled up. <laughs> and so that busy mind becomes calmer, more relaxed. Although that isn't really the purpose. Um, I say the, probably really about quieting the brain rather than feeling calmer. Letting those thoughts go, recognising they're there, letting them go and coming back to the focus. And you know, if, you, if you're if you familiar with mindfulness as a practice, um, or meditation as a practice even, you know, it focuses on, you know, your breathing or, or, or it's putting you in contact with your body. Whereas this isn't, this isn't mindfulness, this is a sort of mindful appreciation, um, recognising that focusing instead on the movement of the train and of what your hands are doing, you occupying your hands and your brain um, is having a positive impact, stopping us running away with
with those thoughts. And so just like that sort of act of matching grains around on the track, creating that ballasting effect, I find as much pleasure in, in operating this layout and the same benefits. So for those of you who feel that a shelf layout or a small shunting layout like this will bring you, yeah, well, you'll, you'll bore off, you'll bring out of things to do, you'll, you know, there's not enough operation. Well, I challenge you and say, how much is enough? In those moments where you just want to escape for five, 10 minutes, or in this case, the length of this video, A shelf layout like this is the perfect tonic in today's world. All you need is a nice smooth running locomotive, a small collection of stock, preferably automatic couplings, and a little bit of imagination. So, thank you for watching. I hope the message behind this video that everyone has space for a small shelf layout and the benefit that this might bring you in terms of a chance to reflect and calm your mind away from the other distractions and challenges in our lives. The joy, perhaps, of a, of a model railway distilled into its purest essence here. Until next time.